Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we'll be solving lead code 956 tallest billboard. Actually, I have spent more than three hours on this problem to explain this problem in the most simplest way possible. So please go through the problem till the end. And if you don't understand the problem in the first iteration itself, please go through it the second time or the third time, because this is a hard level problem and it requires the respect that it should be given. So in this problem, we are given an array which indicates the length of rods. We are given a rods of length one and we can combine these rods and form a bigger rod. For example, we can combine one and three to form a rod of length four. So what is given here is we have to form two rods of equal lengths. For example, we can combine one and two and we have a rod of length three. So these two will be having equal lengths, but the problem is asking you have to find the length of the maximum rods that can be formed. What is the maximum length in this particular problem is we can combine one, two and three to form a rod of length six. And we already have a rod of length six on the other side. So the answer in this case will be six. That is we can form two rods of length six. And the point is you cannot break any rods and you can combine the rods. So what is the first approach that comes to our mind? The first approach is the brute force approach. So every rod is having three options. One is the first thing is you can include it in the left rod or you can include it in the right rod or you don't include this at all. Don't include this at all. So every rod has three options that is left, right or don't include at all. So if you look here, since every rod has three options, to find all the options and to come up with the solution, we require a time of three power n. So this is not definitely what is expected because this requires a lot of time. So let's look at it in a different way and try to understand the problem. Let's assume this is the given array. We are given a rod of length two, length three, length four and length one. Now let's just assume for now we only have rod of length two. Now, what does this indicate? Let's think of it in a different way. Someone comes to you and gives a combination uh, which is having a difference of two. Let them give whatever combination they want. We have our rod. We will just fix our rod here and we have equal rods. So what is the idea here is with just the rod two, if you are given any combination having a difference of two, you can achieve equal rods, right? So that is the first point. But can you know the answer from this? No, right? We need something from the combination. What is it that is required? We should either know the length of the long rod or we should know the length of the short rod. Once we know this length, we can add two to this and we can get our final answer. Say, for example, this was length six and this was length four. The difference is two and we can just get the answer by adding two to this. That is how we can get the answer. So the key idea here is instead of just focusing on this, we also have to focus on the combinations that we will be able to form in this problem. Say we just have rod two. What is the only combination that we can form? The only combination that we can form is a difference of two. If you look here, it's these two are complementing each other. So that is what is happening. So let me explain this step by step. We have a rod of length two. Can we form a combination of length zero? Yes, right. We don't include the rod at all. So yes, a combination of zero can be formed. Can a difference of one be formed? No. Can a difference of two be formed? Yes. Then what is the length of the shorter rod? In this case, it will be zero. Can a length of three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. None of this can be formed. The only two differences or combinations that can be produced is this rod and this rod. Now let's include the next rod that is of length three. Can a difference of zero? Yes, we don't include both the rods. Can a difference of one be formed? Yes. How? Three minus two, that is we have one here, two here and we have three here. So yes, this can also be formed. And what is the length of the shorter rod? The length is two here. And again, it will continue here. And yeah, this can also be formed, but this will be zero. And 
everything will be zero except phi why we can combine both of them together and we can form a rod and the length of the shorter rod will be zero so but why are we taking this approach why because to form the combinations so now let's look here to understand the this now the first options that we have is we'll continue here now we will assume that we already have a combination of one right we already have got two rods where the difference is one so now we have one option one is you can add the rod here of length four we already have a combination of one then we can add four to the longest rod so now it will be straightforward so what is one plus four it is equal to five so this five will either continue to have the same thing or it will continue to take the new value that is 2 in this case what is the length of the shorter rod the length of the shorter rod is 2 it got its value from here so this is value is updated what is the formula to get this dp of d plus x is equal to either it will continue to have the same value which was 0 or the previous d that is 2 here that is the length of the shorter rod in the previous step or if any value was already there that is what it will get so i think this scenario is clear there is one more scenario what is that scenario we'll be adding it to the shorter rod that is 2 plus 4 and this will become 5 so what will this get updated to that is the rod of the difference of 1 will again get updated and what will be the length of the shorter rod in this particular case the length of the shorter rod will be 4 so this will get updated to 4 and in this scenario of adding it to the shorter rod there is one more scenario where this can exceed this and where this can go to the negative scenario that is dp of d minus x why d minus x because the distance between the two rods got reduced by x because we are adding it to this so since there are two scenarios one is for example this is the bigger rod either the difference get reduced to this or this rod is bigger than this and the difference get reduced to this so to avoid the overlap what we are doing is we are just taking the absolute value that is we don't want negative values and it will again we have two options here one is it will either continue to have the same value or it will have the previous row value and whatever is the minimum of d and x we will add be adding it to that finally what do we have to return in the answer the first value that is the dp of zero is what we have to return so i hope you understood the brute uh, optimized solution to this problem so let's dive into the code actually instead of having an array like this a two dimensional array like this in this problem we are just having one array and we are just copying whatever the previous rows values was and we are keeping it one more array which we are calling it as cur array what we are doing here is why 5001 because in the problem we are given that the length of the rod the maximum length of the rod is 5000 so here we are just increasing it to one why because we want to include zero also now what we are doing here is for every rod we are iterating from the first combination that is the combination we have zero and we are trying to add x rod and also we are trying to subtract from this and whatever values we have to update we are updating in these two values that is dp of we are adding and we are subtracting and we are updating the values accordingly finally we will be returning dp of zero why because the difference between the two have to be zero and it has to be maximum and we one more question that arises is why we are taking maximum here the point here is we want the length of the maximum shot right because this has to be maximum for our answer to be maximum so finally we will be returning dp of zero thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe